This video will discuss how Cabinet Pro can machine each cabinet that you build uniquely and very differently from the next cabinet. Not only can we have different materials assigned to each cabinet, but we can also define specific machining to each cabinet or to each cabinet prototype that is saved in the library such that all we have to do is design and the machining is automatically done behind the scenes. Notice that we are building this cabinet with a separate toe kick, but we can also make a cabinet in the same room with a notched toe kick instead. For example, here we have a tall cabinet made out of maple with a notched toe kick, some drawers at the bottom, raised panel doors in the middle with glass doors at the top, horizontal partitions between sections, adjustable shelves at the top that are set in quite a bit, and fixed shelves in the middle section that are also set in but not as much. The machining for this cabinet and all of the cabinets in this job is already determined by Cabinet Pro as we design them. As an example, let's look at how Cabinet Pro has machined the unfinished end for this tall cabinet. This is an example of what Cabinet Pro has done automatically for every single part of every cabinet within our job. Because we have our dowel construction method loaded, these are the drilling patterns we previously set up for joining our parts. We have our notched toe kick. If we had to, if we had no toe, or if we had a separate toe, this would not be cut out. These are holes for our bottoms and tops, which could be different but are the same in this example. We have chosen to tell Cabin Pro to space these holes seven inches apart for the entire length of the drilling operation. Here we have holes for our horizontal partitions that are spaced 64 millimeters apart from each other. Holes for our back are spaced about 10 inches apart from each other. While these are our drawer guide holes for the two drawers at the bottom of the cabinet. Our fixed shelf holes that are also spaced 64 millimeters from each other. Adjustable shelf holes spaced 32 millimeters apart that we have defined to have five holes per shelf up to three shelves any more than three shelves and we will have a full row of shelves instead of uh, shelf holes instead you can also define your adjustable shelf holes so uh, that they will always be a full column of holes instead of five per shelf as we have here because we made our adjustable shelves 12 inches deep and our fixed shelves 16 inches deep Notice that Cabinet Pro took into consideration the different depths of our shelves so that holes were placed only where they were needed. And finally, we have our hinge plate holes. Two for our top section and three for our middle section doors. Cabinet Pro will automatically place two, three, four, or five hinge plate hole patterns based upon the size of the door. Now what if we don't want dowel construction, but instead we want to apply blind dado construction methods to this entire job? Rather than spending 5 to 20 hours determining the machining code for this change, it will only take us about 10 seconds. First, we press the Change CNC Library button, and then select the CNC setup of our choice that contains our pre-made CNC machining rules and definitions. And that's it. When we run our reports now, our entire job will be machined according to our newly loaded CNC setup. Let's look at how our tall cabinet will now be machined. Here, our dowel construction has been changed to dado construction in not only this cabinet, but in all cabinets in the job. That means up to 2,500 different cabinets have had each of their parts machined accurately and changed accurately to whatever we've loaded in about 10 seconds. Let's change the machining once again to a hybrid between dado and dowel construction. And then once again look at the unfinished end of our tall cabinet. Here we will see that our tops, bottoms, and backs were defined to be dados. And of course, our horizontal partitions and fixed shelves were, were defined to be doweled, which is why they still have holes appearing in them. If we change the dimensions of our cabinet in the job, all machining is automatically adjusted. Let's change the depth from 27 inches to 18 inches and then look at our cabinet's end again. All machining has been adjusted accordingly, automatically and accurately. What you have seen in this video is but one reason why Cabinet Pro is truly defined as being simply powerful.